it's Odelako Ozuko, and I just want to give you a quick update before I get into the dorm story. So, basically, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading lately. I've been busy with school, and uh, editing has been such a struggle because of my weak wrist, and my pain has been just amplified because I have to do so much typing and writing for school. So, I'm so sorry that videos haven't been coming out, but thank you guys so much for over 4K. I was like, what? <laughs> freaking out oh my god thank you guys so much and i feel so bad because i haven't been posting but you guys are still so supportive so thank you guys and i want to do a 4k special but i'm not really sure what i should do so if you guys have any suggestions you can put it in the comments um okay so for the video i am going to share a story that happened to me pretty recently and pretty much all of class 1a is doing this where we tell stories that happened in the dorms so yeah i know deku-kun and kishima-kun and i know a few others did it as well so i'll link those in the description or at least some of them if i can remember <laughs> i'm sorry but be sure to check them out and yeah so let's get right into it. So Kyoko-chan, Suyu-chan, and I were just hanging out in the hall, you know, like doing our thing, just chatting. And then all of a sudden we hear this like loud thumping and we all just look at each other being like, what's going on? And then we look down the hall and in the distance we see Bakugo-kun storming towards us. He's not looking at us or anything, so we knew it wasn't us that made him mad, so... We just like glance at each other like, hmm, I wonder what happened. And then we see the Baku squad following him. <laughs> Kirishima-kun, Kaminari-kun, Sero-kun, and Mina-chan just trailing behind him. They're all like giggly and elbowing each other like, yeah, come on, man, it's all cool. And then they're like calling out to Bakugo-kun, yo man, like chill, it's all good, we're besties, and stuff like that. But then he's just... He's just like ignoring them, just continuing to storm to his room. They're all just like, oh, come on, man, like, don't ignore us. But of course, since he's mad, he doesn't care, and he's like, shut up, uh, I'm tough. <laughs> and then he just goes to his room and slams the door so hard, it's like, the noise was so loud, it echoed through the halls and probably across campus. <laughs> And then <laughs> we were all just like, oh my god, because it was so loud. And then we all realized, wait a second, his lock broke. <laughs> and then we all started cracking up because he was so mad, but he broke his own door. <laughs> and then, of course, us laughing just made it a hundred times worse. And then Bakugo-kun got so mad, he was like, oh, guys, stop. Why are you laughing? This isn't funny. This is such, like a big deal like don't look down on me and oh you guys are idiots like this is all your fault i mean that's obviously not what he actually said but something along those lines <laughs> and then he was like yeah don't you guys dare come into my room or else i'll kill you but you know he always says that but he's like he never does it so it's all good he doesn't mean it and we all know that so you know we we're just still laughing because i don't know <laughs> It was just funny because he was so mad taking everything so seriously and then he breaks his own door but yeah so then he just goes in his room slams the door again and then we were all just like stifling our laughs and looking at each other like and then we hear like this screeching and it sounded like a chair and then we just hear this loud shuffling and stuff we just figured that he wanted to block the door so that we don't open it since his door opens inwards. So then we're like looking at each other like, oh snap, that happened. <laughs> and then Kaminari-kun just gives us this look. He's like smirking, flexing his eyebrows, and he's nodding like, you know, we gotta do something with this. And then we're all just like, we do need to do something. <laughs> we all just nod at each other with this silent agreement that something's gonna go down tonight. And then, so, it's past curfew. We're all supposed to be in our our own rooms. But then, we remember the silent agreement. And I told Deku-kun about it, just because, you know, we're friends. And, I mean, like, he's friends with Bakugo-kun, too, so I thought, why not? But, you know, he, was, he wasn't interested because he was scared. He tried to convince us not to do it. But, 
you know, I mean, I understand that because Bakugo kun is really mean to Deku kun, but we ended up doing it anyway because why not? It's just a little prank. <laughs> so, basically, we all met in the living space and, and all of us, meaning the Baku squad, Kyoka chan, and Sui chan, and this is like. We're technically not supposed to be out, but you know, we're we're like sneaky, so it's all good. <laughs> and it would be worth it even if we got in trouble. So we devised the perfect plan. We all just sneak up to Bakugo kun's floor, which is the fourth floor, and we tiptoe to his door and we wanna make sure he's actually sleeping. So Kirishima kun being the brave soul he is opens the door a crack and then there's some stuff in front of the door. Bakugo kun is in fact sleeping so it was all good. It was like three in the morning so you know he should be asleep. <laughs> and then so we're like okay it's time to initiate the plan. So then Mina-chan goes up and then she squirts some of her acid under the door but not like not the kind that actually dissolves stuff you know that gooey stuff that makes it easier to slide things. After she put that down we were able to open the door a little more so that it wouldn't make any screeching against the floor and then I stuck my hand in and then used my quirk on the chair and there were a bunch of like b books on top of the chair, I guess, so that in case we tried anything, he would hear the screeching. But he didn't anticipate that we would have part of the top 10 in the class strategizing for us, so... <laughs> His mistake. No, okay. <laughs> so yeah, then we were able to push the door open and basically freely move his stuff out of the way so that we could open the door pretty wide. It's in the middle of the night, so the hallways are dark, so there's no like light shining into his eyeballs or anything. And then, of course, we had to clean up Minachan's acid just in case we slipped or something and then it made a loud crash and stuff. So Seru-kun took care of that. And since it was Kaminari-kun's idea, he got first dibs, which is a little unfortunate, but you know, it's all good. It's all good because it was funny. <laughs> so, you know, he pulls out his black Sharpie and we're all just like slowly creeping towards Bakugo-kun in his bed. He's like sound asleep, you know, in his covers, you know, all, all chill. And for once, he actually looked really calm. <laughs> He's gonna kill me for this video, but anyway, <clears throat> you know, we're all just like trying really hard not to make a noise So we're all just like silently like <laughs> Like breathing and like just it was it was <laughs> it was amazing, but yeah and then <laughs> So he starts drawing on Bakugo kun's face, you know doing the classic mustache some whiskers you know like that weird circle around the eye and then as he's doing that bakuo kun's eyes just shoot open and we all just freeze he's just staring at us and we're just staring at him because we're all bent over him trying to see what coming out kun was doing especially since it was dark it was hard to see and and i mean we really wanted to see this and oh and i forgot to say we were recording the whole thing so that was Sero-kun's Sero job because he's he's like taller than all of us. So for a second, it felt like so much longer than that though. <laughs> we were just like frozen, just staring at each other like, oh gosh, this is, this is it. Then we all just run. We just run screaming down the hall in the middle of the night after curfew. And Bakugo-kun is like chasing us like, what did you do? I told you not to come into my room and stuff like that. And then he noticed like, oh, you're recording this. Oh my God. Uh, how could you? I'm so mad. <laughs> he was chasing us and we were screaming. And <laughs> unfortunately, he got to the footage, which is really sad. And he, he like destroyed it. He basically blew up Sirokun's phone, which is really sad. But you know, it's, it's all good. He paid for it later. But yeah. <laughs> But it was so funny because he was yelling with the mustache, the whiskers, and that like circle monocle thing around the eye. <laughs> oh my god, it was amazing! But yeah, so, uh, <laughs> but then since we were 
screaming down the hall. All of us were screaming pretty much, except for Suji Chan because she like never screams. But we were also like laughing and stuff because it was so funny. But yeah, we got in trouble because <laughs> it was way past curfew. It was like I don't even know what time it was. It was probably three or four in the morning. And yeah, we definitely got in trouble for that. But. Hey, we got to see Bakugo kun with a weird mustache, whiskers, and a monocle. So, you know, that's that's really what you should take from today. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And if you want to hear more dorm stories, feel free to let me know. And yeah, bye, guys. I'm so